You ready? Tuesday peeps uh, at this point it is Monday while I'm recording this it gives me time to edit it for Tuesday so I don't know who's gotten fired from the Lions if anyone has but this is really a point of emphasis on what the Lions need to address heading into the draft and into free agency now the two biggest questions for me right now is since we do have the third overall pick is who we're taking of course but the two biggest factors on defense is Darius Slay and Snacks Harrison. Snacks, after the, uh, the Lions lost to the Packers, had a very emotional, emotional post-game interview where he didn't know if he had it anymore and was really completing retirement. The other one is Darius Slay. With all the comments he has had, is he coming back? I don't know. I really don't think so. So, when those are your two best players, or I should say your leaders, or whatever you would, defensively, you're going to have to fill that void. And Owari played pretty good week 17. He's played pretty good in the snaps he's played. I think he's going to have an extended role next season. But he's not a number one corner. Not yet, at least. And we really don't have anyone to fill the void of Snack Harrison. Even though he was pretty much NIA all year, um, that's a big body to have up there. So obviously, going into this offseason and into the draft, my mindset is what's best for Patricia because if we're even regardless we're bringing him back which I'm not a fan of because you know Freddie Kitchens got fired and uh the Giants coach after two years has nine wins got fired we have Patricia for two years and only nine wins and he's not fired but regardless of all that you know I don't want to see any of our coaches here fail okay I want this Lions team to be good but I'm just not a big fan or a big believer in Matt Patricia but if I'm going to give him a fair shot, we need to put a lot of money into this defense. And if his two leaders and his two best players defensively, Snacks and Slay, are walking out, you're going to have to replace them. So, obviously, this defensive line needs a ton of work. I really hope we don't use a 3-4. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of the 3-4 at all. Um, I, I, like, I like the 4-3 just for Detroit style, man. You have to have some bigger boys up there on the line. But in the three four, you know, you're more uh, linebacker centric, you know, and we just we're not using them the right way. Maybe Patricia can figure it out. I don't know. Okay, I can't, I don't have twenty twenty vision. See what I did there? But anyway, either way you're doing, it. if you're gonna go back to the four three or continue to do the three four, that defensive line needs some work. You know, not very many people, especially this year, were too concerned with snacks. You just didn't look right. If you're going to do it either way, 4-3 or 3-4, you need a, a D tackle at this point that demands a double team, similar to what we had with Sue. We need to get that bad boy. And if you're going to take Chase Young, if he's there at three, that's all right. You know, you got the other edge rusher to put on the opposite side of Trey Flowers. You just need a bad boy, a big boy in the middle. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, obviously, you need some more linebackers. Pretty much every position on, on the defense you need an upgrade over. There's not too many guys on the defense that are like, have a secure job. You know, offensively, you know, Stafford and carry on are going to be the running back and quarterback. You know, Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay are going to be receivers. And you know, Jesse James. Well, I don't know about Jesse James, but you know, TJ is going to be the tight end. So, I mean, the defense has a lot more questions on who's going to be here and who's not, who's starting and who will. Um, obviously, Deshaun Hand being out for a majority of the year hurt us. I'm not sure if he is going to be starting next year or coming off, depending on who we draft. But, um, yeah, those are really the big, big holes defensively. It's just everything, everywhere. I mean, when you're one of the worst teams defensively, I don't really want to keep too many of those guys because, you know, I was looking for Patricia to take some of these younger guys and adjust. You know, and they play pretty good against Green Bay. I'll give them credit. Uh, I don't think Green Bay was playing their hardest, and Aaron Rodgers missed a ton of throws. Um... But we played pretty good against Green Bay. And that always seems to be the Lions thing. You know, I, I just feel like this year we're playing up and down to our competition. When we played good teams, like good, good teams, we looked like a whole completely different team 
than when we played people like Oakland or Chicago or whatever it was. So I, th I think getting healthier is going to help this team, but it wasn't like we were a great team when we were all healthy. Before Stafford got hurt, we were three, four, and one. It's not great. It's just average. So they have a lot of holes to fix. And you know, I, I think the majority of the fan base wants Chase Young. Do they keep the third pick? Do they trade out of it? I, I don't know. The Lions at this point are too unpredictable. You know, I'm very curious about free agency. You know, last year, rather they were the good guys to get or the, uh, the ones who weren't. But I, I like the Trey Flowers pickup now. He's playing a lot better after getting healthier. But um, Coleman's a great pickup as well. We got the guys last year we wanted. You know, my question this year is can we do it again because of all the negative things that have come out. You know, I was very surprised last year we got Coleman, we got Trey Flowers, we got Danny Amendola, so on and so forth, Jesse James, whatever. We got the guys we wanted last year. Can we repeat that going into this season with another year of players, current players, and former players saying that Patricia's not the guy and all the stuff that's come out? It's going to be very interesting to see what the Lions can do. Um, it's going to be very tough for them to get worse. They're going to have to hit a home run on almost every draft pick, on every free agent signing, due to the fact that Martha Ford in the front office up there with her, not talking Bob Quinn, but whoever's on her little shoulders or whatever up there, have put a ton of pressure on Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia because they're supposed to be winning right now. And this is not a rebuild. This is not a retool. They said nine and seven was not good enough for us. We have nine wins after two years of Matthew Patricia. They need to win at least nine games next year to keep their jobs. At least. Because I don't think they're going to win the NFC North. I really don't. Chicago, they're going to get better if they can get a quarterback. If they get a quarterback, it'll be a wrap. Uh... Minnesota's a nine and seven, ten and six team. They're good, but at the end of the day, they got Kirk Cousins. He just he can't win on a, a big platform. So those big division games against Chicago, if they get a quarterback or Green Bay, he's just not going to be able to win it. And you no, know, I, I like what Green Bay has done. Uh, I'm not a big Green Bay fan, but I was I was I was surprised how many games they won this year. I did not predict them to win the NFC North. I just didn't think they did enough, but. Apparently, they proved everybody wrong. We're just... We're, the thing that sucks is we're not, we're not that far off from these guys. You know, we should be a 10-16 and 16 with the talent that we have. But a lot of it comes to coaching. But we're not here to talk about coaching. We're just here to talk free agency and draft. Um, so leave it down in the comments, man. Who, who are the players that you want in the draft, in free agency? It doesn't have to be the first round of the draft. Who are some of the sleeper picks that you will love if the Lions can get maybe in the second, third, or fourth round, some of the game changers that you guys think are going to fall that far. So uh, we'll have to see what the Lions can do. But like I said, they got to hit a home run almost every every pick and every signing just to compete with the front office pressure. So leave it down in the comments. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members in the description. Uh, Luke G has got a, got a good one for the roundtable today. So go over to his channel and check all that stuff out tonight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.